Question number six, Honourable David Parker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he agree with ANZ regarding the New Zealand economy that, quotes, our concern is that the domestic-centric mix of growth is not sustainable from the standpoint of New Zealand's external imbalances? If not, why not? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I agree with a number of statements in the ANZ's review of the GDP in the first quarter. For example, when it says lead indicators suggest solid growth in the second half of the year. I agree with it when it says base momentum is lifting, and I agree with it when they note a build-up in manufacturing inventories added to GDP. However, I do not agree with the particular passage the member quotes. Household savings is in fact up. The government remains on track to surplus and to begin paying off debt, and forecasts have to be considered in view of the large one-off effect of the Canterbury rebuild on domestic activity. And on that basis, I disagree with their assertion. Supplementary question, the Honourable David Parker. Why does he expect the public to believe that the recovery is broad-based and the benefits are being shared by all when 40 per cent of working New Zealanders didn't get a pay rise at all in the last year, and yet the cost of living, be it electricity prices, petrol taxes, health or education costs keep going up and up? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, well, the member makes an interesting point, uh, but I'm not sure that it squares with the facts, uh, because uh, the reality is the cost of living is actually the lowest it's been in nine years. It's gone up about 1 per cent in the last year. Interest rates, of course, which is one of the biggest household costs, are as low as they have been for 40-odd years, in fact, 50 years, I think, which means, on balance, that most households although they'd all like to be further ahead, and of course we all would, but most households are in fact slightly better off in the last 12 months than they would have been the year before. Supplementary. Supplementary question, the Honourable David Parker. Does he understand that New Zealanders are feeling disappointed with his management of the economy, given that most of the modest economic gains have gone to the few percentage at the top, while everyone else has stayed still or gone backwards? It is. Honourable David Parker. Uh, uh, Mr. Sorry, Speaker, on behalf Honourable of Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I suppose um, the lie of that statement is probably the polling numbers uh, that, uh, that suggest that New Zealanders, in fact, are supporting uh, the economic direction of this government. Uh, the reality is that it's been tough the world over uh, in terms of people getting ahead, but in the New Zealand context, with low interest rates, low mortgage rates, a low cost of living increase. Uh, and a government that's running the economy carefully and successfully, we're actually doing better than most parts of the world. Yeah. Wages dropping. Question number seven, Jan Logie. Mr Speaker, my question oh, so, is... Uh, order. I apologise. I've missed a supplementary from Paul Goldsmith. Thank you. Supplementary, Paul Goldsmith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my supplementary is to the Minister of Finance. How does New Zealand's external balances compared to what the government inherited in 2008. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, of course, the States of New Zealand last week announced a current account deficit in the first quarter was 4.8 per cent of GDP and was actually down a bit and compares with the current account deficit in the final quarter of 2008 where it peaked at 8.8 per cent of GDP. This was the worst quarter in the last 25 years and came at the end of a four-year period in which the current account deficit averaged over 8 per cent. So what we're seeing, Mr Speaker, is a steady rebalancing of the New Zealand economy and that's reflected in our external balances. Question number seven, Jan Logan. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is... To